a plus 2 raised to the power 3a is equal to 10. And the value of a is a real number. For solving this question, to make it easy to solve, the first thing you are going to do is let represent 2 raised to the power a to be equal to x. So if 2 raised to the power a is equal to x, let's substitute. By substitution, we have x plus this is uh, 2 raised to the power 2, 2 raised to the power a, or raised to the power 3. So recall that there is a law, a raised to the power n, at the same time, raised to the power n can be written as a raised to the power n raised to the power n. So therefore, we have x plus, this one we give you a, which is x raised to the power 3 is equal to 10. So therefore, it gives us third degree equation. So let's try to equate to get the exact value of the third degree equation. We have x raised to the power 3 plus x minus 10 is equal to 0. So now this is we have we need three roots to get to be able to get the value of a. So for getting the three root because when third degree equation, we can use two methods. We can use trial and error, we can also use grouping to factorize this but let's try to use grouping now to solve this in grouping let's try to find a factor that can easily go in five in ten and we also give us uh the value of hex let's try to do that we have s cube plus five x minus four x minus ten is equal to zero you're able to see this now so therefore if 5x plus give us this. Let's try to group. But recall that the 5x, we go directly from 5, we go from 10. Let's try to rearrange this to have x raised to the power 3 minus 4x plus 5x minus 10 is equal to 0. So because we are using grouping method to factorize this equation. So as we, are, as we are now using the grouping method, therefore, it now give us, you know, this can turn to x onto x squared minus 4x plus 5x minus 10 is equal to 0. So if this can be in this, let's try to group this and group this. In grouping this and this, what comes here is x bracket x squared minus 4 plus 5 is common x minus 2 is equal to 0. So therefore, this is a uh, difference of 2 square. By applying the method of difference of 2 square, we have x on 2, x minus 2, x plus 2, bracket close, plus 5 onto x minus 2 is equal to 0. So from all this equation, something is still yet common from it, which is x minus 2 is common. Let's try to bring it out to have x minus 2, bracket open and close. We have x onto x plus 2. Now, by the time we have plus 5 is equal to 0. So, x minus 2 onto x times x, we have x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. So, these are the two equations so this one will give you one values of the root. This one will give you two values of the root. But recall, this, this value of the root might be complex number. But our question we are dealing about A is an element of real number. But let's try to do something first. For multiplying two, no, two equations together, giving us zero, means that it is either x minus 2 is equal to zero, or x squared plus 2x plus 5 that is equal to zero so therefore our s is equal to two or x squared plus two x plus five is equal to zero so since we are able to get a value of x we have gotten the value of x to be equal to two so this is what we need now this two equation if x is equal to two and two raised to power a is equal to x. 
So meaning that 2 raised to power a is equal to if 2 raised to power a represents x and our s is 2. So recall that 2 raised to power a can be written as 2 raised to power 1. Therefore, a is equal to 1. So this is one of the value. Also, we need the second values of the root for this. So therefore, if you are to find this, let's apply quadratic formula to solve this, which is equal to 0. We said s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. In apply the formula for this, so let's apply this. This is our b, this is our c, 1 is a. So therefore, the value of x now give us b is minus 2 plus or minus square root of our b is 2. That is 2 squared minus 4ac times 1 over 2 times 1. So in view of this, to make it meaningful, we have s is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 20 over 2. So if we have the square root of 4 over 2, so therefore we now have s is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of minus 16 all over 2. So, in so let's now try to bring it out. We are able to get the value of a, uh, a to be equal to 1. So let's clear this page. So good. So we want to get the two roots from here. In getting the two value from here, recall that if our x will now give us minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 high. Because root minus 1 will give you high in a complex form. So over 2. So s is equal to minus 2 over 2 plus or minus, this will give you, that is 4i over 2. So s is equal to this cancel is minus 1 plus or minus 2 high. So meaning that our s is equal to minus 1 plus 2i or s is equal to minus 1 minus 2i. But from the question above, it said our a is element of real number. So if our a is an element of real number, it now shows that a is equal to 1. So we have to consider this as a complex form, whereby what we have to find is a. So let's cross check. Maybe we are correct about the solutions, which we have 2 raised to power a is 1, which is 1, plus 2 raised to power 3, which is 1. It will give you 2 plus 2 raised to power 3 will give you 8, which is equal to 10, which is correct. So meaning that we can guess to know maybe the answer is 1 or not, but we still have to prove mathematically to understand the fact that the value is this. This as it is now, it is mathematically proved that A is 1. The, 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 we have three roots that the remaining roots are complex form. So since the remaining roots are complex form, therefore, we have to reject it and follow the value A that equal to 1. So don't forget to subscribe to this uh, channel and follow us and share this uh, share this solution to those that you believe it needs. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.